Hello, my church family. For those of you who don't know me, I am Burt Fox, the Director of Traditional Worship at White Plains United Methodist Church. For those of you that do know me, I suppose it's the same thing. Well, anyway, I would like to speak to everyone today, traditions, embrace, and familiar. First, I hope you're all doing well and practicing COVID-19 safety measures. But most importantly, I hope you're taking advantage to the different daily streaming opportunities the White Plain staff is providing. We all realize it's not the same as face-to-face, -face, but it has pushed us to be more and more creative in how we share God's truth with you. And talking about creativity, I'd like to share with you this piece of art that was created for me by one of the chancel choirs, Susan Glasgow. Susan, thank you for this. I love it. It has truly touched me. And it got me to thinking. There are many of you, like Susan, that have the artistic gift. In 1 Corinthians 12, we read, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in every one, it is the same God at work. It is easy for those of us with the gift of music or teaching or preaching to share those gifts in worship. It is not so easy for to share those gifts in worship for people that are gifted in the visual arts. So I'm asking all of you who are gifted in the visual arts, whether it be sketching or drawing or painting or sculpting or knitting or needle pointing or wood carving or crocheting or quilting or flower arranging or what, whatever you want to create a visual piece on the theme, the family of God. What does the family of God look like to you? Create your piece, and if while you're creating it, you can make a short, up to 30-second video of yourself creating it. Once you're done, take a picture of it and send it to me. And if you made a short video, send that to me as well. Uh, we'd like to put all the together in a virtual gallery with music. Um, and this is for anyone in our congregation, whether you're an embrace person, a familiar person, a traditions person, or one of our online congregations that we have now. Any of you, share your gift of art with us, please. Um, and this is also for all ages, from the very young to the very young at heart. And it would be awesome if families got together and made one big art piece where each part of the family contributed. Now, I know for me and for music, sometimes inspiration is immediate. But often, inspiration takes time. It takes thought, planning, preparation, and implementation. And I'm assuming it's the same for visual art. So, we're going to give you some time to think about it plan it, create it, and we hope that you can have it finished by the first week of August. If you need longer, simply contact me and tell me you need longer. We hope to use them in an upcoming worship service and in a virtual gallery online. And when this whole craziness is over, hopefully a gallery at the church of all this artwork. Um, I hope this excites you as much as it excites me. Um, I know there are many of you that possess the gift for visual arts, and I can't wait to experience your art. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Now, let's create art.